Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tron.com and today we're going to look at the new version of the Tilt 50 RTS um, in relationship to the old one. So if you have a defective Tilt 50 or one that you need to replace and you need this one, the new version, because the old version is no longer available, what are the differences and what do you need to look at? Well, first of all, um, the design is different. So the old trays in which the motor was placed can no longer be used. Those have been replaced by these brackets, these headrail brackets. You get two of them and you click them onto the motor, like so. So it's very easy to install. What you need to make sure of is that the program button is on the top. So the feet have to be pointing down and not towards the program button. You need one on each side so you can actually fit it into the headrail. So that's the first difference. You no longer can use the tray, you need to have these new parts. Uh, in addition to that you need a shaft adapter and those are also different from the previous versions. Uh, the shaft adapter is installed on this side, so where the cables come out. And you have three versions. You have the 5mm square one, you have a 5mm star shaped one and you have a 6mm diameter star shaped one. And you can easily press it in on the side, push it in all the way to the end and it clicks in. But again, this is a part that you need to uh, get with your motor. So what we've done is, because whether you're replacing an old motor or you're using the motor for a new project to automate your blinds, you always need these parts, so we always include them. If you buy them somewhere else, um, you need to order them separately and pay for them separately. We include them in the box, so when you open the box, you'll see those two and the three uh, shaft adapters. With regard to the remote control, um, you can still use your old RTS remote control, but you do need to reset your end limits uh, and make the connection to the motor itself. So programming is something you need to do again. In terms of the power source, if you have a battery one, a transformer or a solar panel, you can use those again as well. So no need to buy anything new. All new parts you need are the ones that you physically need to match the motor to your uh, existing blind. Now if you have any questions about it, how to do it, there's another video about that, but if you want to program the motor, um, have any questions about the, the product itself, how it works, then do let me know. Um, you can leave a uh, message below the video, you can send me an email or otherwise get in touch with me. And of course you can subscribe to the video so you can make sure that you don't miss anything when it comes to these motors or something products in general. In any case, I'd like to thank you for watching and see you next time.